I get nervous when I don't have things checked off or on top. Yeah. So that's that's my you're not gonna bother me. Yeah, okay. what's well, an email okay. you didn't answer? Well, it's because that's because I, the last eight months have been really challenging for me. Okay, well, I'm glad yeah. to see you tonight. Yeah. And, uh, yeah. I just well, want to. I just, we, we should we should be able to get you paper in probably 30, 45 days. Look now like with this approval, uh, first of the year. Yeah. We were hoping to build now. Yeah. But we couldn't get, by the time the asphalt plants closed, we'd be sitting writing interest checks all for nothing. Yeah, yeah. And so we're going to, right at first year, weather permitting, we're all lined up with, with yeah. contractors, everybody. Uh, this is kind of the last thing that <laughs> the only reason we needed to do this phase thing, we were in two phases. Yeah. First one was 34 lots and oh, the interest rates started going up. Yeah. Builders go, we're not yeah. too much, too much risk. You do two phases, your two phases are going to flat, right? In fact, we plan to do phase one and two. Yeah. Um, yeah. Economies of scale. Kind of yeah. Thing. Yeah. And, That's interesting. I've been, Trying to stay up on the market and see how things are going. It's nervous, don't it? Interest rates are, but then there's no housing on the market. I mean, there's no available units. It's uh, it's it's, a, it's kind of a log jam. It's, it think I think the, the housing problems are going to worsen here in probably the next two to three years until the interest really changes. Well, the interest rates is what so they're shutter through. Yeah. Now historically, I remember refinancing you. Really do a seven and a half percent because yeah. yeah. my parents got a is a 13% loan in the 80s. These these new these new uh, new kids in their 20s and 30s, they think seven's high. They haven't seen nothing yet. I mean it's true. Yeah. Chair Ritter, we're ready whenever you are. It's 6.30 p.m. on October 24th. We are going to call the meeting of the Commission to order. Sparks are going to be a little bit. Commissioner, which is the same presence. Yes. Chair Irvine? Present. Uh, Vice Chair Edder? Here. Commissioner Hassel? Thank you. Commissioner Baker? Thank you. And last but not least, Commissioner Kendall. Okay. Thank you. You have a quorum. So next up, we have the approval of the Commission Minutes. Um, Commissioner Kendall, do you have any questions or corrections? All right, can um, Mr. C, can we approve both at the same time? Yes, sure. okay. Thank you. From March 3rd, 2021, then 2023. That was from Hustle. Do I have a second? Mm -hmm. All favor? Um, any opposed? Motion carries. All right. Um, Mr. Tina, you had a slight reordering of our agenda this evening. Yes, the uh, County Community Development Director, Scott Edelin, has joined us via Zoom this evening and requested that the request for the joint workshop between the City and County Planning Commission means that could go before the public hearing. He would greatly appreciate it. Uh, great. So we have a request uh, from uh, Scott Elon, the county's community development director, for a workshop with, with the city and county. So it'd be a joint meeting. Now, I uh, figured something out earlier today, which is uh, the term workshop is what the city uh, um, would use for work session. 
So it's a public meeting. It's just a different term. So it's a public meeting uh, be be between the two planning commissions. You couldn't make any formal decisions at it, but you can certainly discuss. And that's really the intent here. Uh, the county is proposing uh, an urban growth boundary expansion. Um, and so they wanted to have a work session to discuss that. And so the request is for that joint work session. We don't have dates. Um, um, and so, uh, well, actually the, the letter here says November 15th, December 6th. There's some other dates in there. Um, we can work on the dates. I think what's more important this evening is that the commission agrees to a joint work session, workshop, whatever would be appropriate and you're open to that. Uh, uh, potentially, I don't know exactly referring to because I haven't spoke to you, at least I don't remember speaking to you about it, urban growth boundary. Um, Yeah. And, and do you think that we have uh, the surveys that we did to our communities or how we can change to say previously? So, would those discussions be uh, Could be. Generally speaking, we try to keep them focused, but if, if you'd like to maybe expand some of the, the agenda, we could we could look at that as well. No, no, it, it wouldn't be that. If anything, it would be explaining the uh, policy framework um, by which you would be making a decision. Um, explaining that to you, and then also uh, staff would be available to answering your questions so that when you do go into public hearing, you have a broader understand or better understanding of what the proposal is, how the, um, how that decision will be made, and and so on and so forth. So. And how long do you think the session might be? Oh, I would think probably an hour would be sufficient. Yeah. So you just looking for Yes, we're looking for a yes, we'd like to do it. Uh, we'll work on dates. Can I jump in a little bit, Nick, or Chair? Yes, we'd like to work on Great. Um, we'll, we will try to, uh, they did identify November 23rd or December 14th. Probably the 23rd is not going to be um, proposed, but uh, November 15th, December 6th, potentially December 14th is what we're looking at. So that's all, that's all in that matter. Thank you. Now we can move on to the hearing regarding the bridge use subdivision. We're hoping that the public hearing in relation to the
failure on the part of any person to raise the issue with sufficient specificity to afford the foundation and parties to this proceeding an opportunity to come to the issue of conclusive guilt of the city council or appeal on that issue. Failure of the applicant to raise constitutional or other issues relating to conditions of approval and sufficient specificity to allow the local government or the designated to respond to the issue of any action for damage of any certain court. Commissioners must disclose any expert in contacts, including site visit, biases, or conflicts of interest. Does any commissioner have anything disclosed? And if so, please state the nature of the claim and whether you intend to participate in these proceedings. Does anyone have anything to declare? Does any party wish to challenge any member of the hearing body based on expertise, contacts, biases, or contacts? Seeing none, we can now have the staff to deliver the staff. Thank you. We're a main band today, so try to. Manage what's going on Zoom, change the screen, and listen and uh, process what the commissioners and uh, people have said this evening. So, this is uh, a request this evening to modify a previously approved subdivision. Modification is limited to just the phasing. Um, on the surface, why bring it to the Planning Commission? Well, number one, uh, your development code that you approved says that any subdivision over 50 acres, or pardon me, 50 lots, needs to be approved by the Planning Commission. Um, so technically it's not a new subdivision uh, approval, but in uh, in uh, an abundance of caution, we thought we'd bring it to you just, just to be above board. The other, the other component of changing the phasing, when you change the phasing, it can affect timing of infrastructure, you can create other issues, right? So part of the planning commission and the city's job is to make sure that when we uh, approve development, that the infrastructure uh, is available to serve that development, um, especially in a phased manner, that it, the appropriate development or appropriate infrastructure is in place. Um, staff has reviewed the proposal. Uh, we've uh, determined that they actually met the requirements for the modification and uh, we've got comments from the uh, Public Works Department on um, uh, the infrastructure, and uh, we we are recommending that it be approved with conditions. I would note that uh, there is one error on condition of approval number twenty seven. It references the prior subdivision. Uh, in particular, it says that the, that the applicant is to plot the first phase within one year of the date of the subdivision approval. Well, that clock's already started. So this is where the, the city can be friendly to developers. And so what I'm suggesting is it would be one year from the date that this modification of approval is rendered, okay? So, so in effect, it would be uh, one year from today, right? Um, so, Staff is recommending that change as well. If you take formal action to approve, if you could just include in your motion the noted change, um, that would be sufficient. We have provided all the necessary notices to adjacent property owners with um, notice of this public hearing in the newspaper. We've not received any public comments on the matter. So proposal complies with the criteria. We don't have any public comments um, uh, objecting to uh, any of the lines of the criteria. So this is a pretty straightforward matter. With that, happy to answer any of your questions before we move into the uh, public testimony component of the hearing this evening. Okay, Thank no you. questions. All right, now we can hear from the applicant. And please state your name and your address and who you are affiliated with. I need to say it's sort of the applicant owner of this project 
2460 Greenhurst Drive in Medford, Oregon. Uh, very briefly, this is simply a, a request to change phase lines on the tentative plat. We have two phases originally, and once the interest rates started going up, uh, the builders came to have said the first phase being 34 lots is way too much. So we're requesting that we break it into smaller bites, uh, five phases instead of two larger ones. Nothing changes on the tentative plan or with the subdivision other than some phase work. Appreciate staff's recommendation of the hearing tonight before the plan. Thank you. Thank you. We will now receive public testimony. When you testify, is there anyone there to testify? Is there anyone online to testify? Okay, so we don't need to read that statement, correct? Correct. Just provide the opportunity to believe that. Okay. So, is the comment is open, period, is open, it does not appear to be any comment. All right. Do does that have anything to add? No. Just, just again, we would we would ask for a slight change in the uh, wording and condition of approval number twenty seven, and otherwise, staff is recommending approval as presented. Um, with regard to uh, the infrastructure, and, um, I know that we're approving only phases, but is there an instruction to complete phase before or during phase one? That runs right along same phase because half same phase is phase half this is rather. Yeah, so. The conditions of approval identify the Kincaid Street improvements and the timing thereof. And I'll point out, I'm going to do my best here on the screen. So the first phase runs from the, the southwest corner up to the northwest corner. So all those uh, Kincaid improvements need to be done in phase one. Okay. Sure. Uh, I, Yes, there will be. There will be utilities in Kincaid Street that be extended as part of the project. Okay, so we'll close the public hearing and we can see the motion. Who wants to see the motion or we can do that? That's fine. I'll need that information for the public hearing for a virtual subdivision. All right, that is the only uh, other item that's on the agenda. I'm just deciding for additional discussion. Did you have any other items to confess in? One, we do kind of immediate information meetings scheduled for you. Uh, require you know, like a bunch of years or hearing, such as this, the, uh, the proposal before you this evening. Uh, the next probably meeting we'll have will be that joint workshop. Okay, and then uh, uh, early next year, what we'll, we'll ramp up, we've got also another urban growth boundary proposal that will be um, put forth. 
Uh, so um, should be a after after your holiday break, uh, we'll be ready to get back working with you. Up, up. Oh, there's one last thing. We, we did hire a new public works director. So we, we do need an introduction. <laughs> I don't get very many times to embarrass Jeff, but uh, staff's happy to uh, have him back. <laughs> so. Hello, my name is Jeff Bird. Thank you for having me here. And you the first director today at the third day, and I'm getting quite a new city. Yes. <laughs> Thank you. Uh-huh.